we are going to hopefully find a bottle dump today Searching for it right now <laughs> I mean, I've seen the right stuff, reminiscences of glass It's about half five at night There's pottery here I just don't know where it's coming from I haven't been able to locate where it is actually coming from but there's plenty of it just lying about but yeah, the right signs are here I mean if you're finding that kind of stuff it's seeing big chunks of pottery like this you know you're not far away from what you're looking for yeah, I can't find it this looks like it's still coming from upstream I mean again, there's the right type of bottles again, look at that Sometimes you've just got to mudlark up streams to find what you need to find It's hard, it's not easy So yeah, let's kind of move further back on Nice bit of sea glass there <laughs> Move further on and just see what we can find Well guys, I just found this, look at this for a wee find there I don't know if that's wooden or chipped out of bone or Almost looks like bone rather than wood But yeah, I could be mistaken, it could be a wood a wood boot. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Look at that, an old boot. Absolute belter. I think it's chipped off bone. That is a cracking little find, isn't it? Do you just love finding stuff like that? Absolutely amazing. Chuffed bits with that. And that is a lovely little boot. Eh? Perfect gift for somebody you don't like. Well guys, I'm walking upstream and I found like a really, really old Cumberland bridge which looks like a pathway across Little old cum kind of Cumberland bridge there It's been used in its day Very unstable looking I've got to cross that as well But yeah, I'm going to follow this stream a wee bit further up because it's still discoloured going up so it could be that this stuff is washing downstream which is generally the case in a tip like this where stuff will wash downstream from the actual tip Right guys, so I'm taking a walk up this stream at the moment uh, walking up the stream and hopefully we'll get some nice finds eh? First thing I've found is a bit of an earthenware pot uh, Now, we've got a nice discoloration in water here which is always a good sign and people say to me, why do you say discoloration of water is always a good sign? Right, let me explain it to you Generally, sometimes when you get an embankment tip, you get a lot of iron in it. And basically what happens is, is the iron starts to seep out. It discolours the water and stones. As you can see, that's a nice reddy orange colour there. And I think somewhere about here, we have an embankment, a kind of an embankment tip, steeping out somewhere. There's stuff seeping out the embankments from somewhere. I've spotted something up here. Not sure if it's a pot or a bit of a flagging or something, eh? something in there as well, look at that Flagging, bit of a flagging eh? Right, we're onto something here, we're onto something here Look at this, that looks ancient What is that? I'm getting that out, whatever it is <laughs> A really old bit of something eh? I just shows you the stuff in here. Oh, I'm excited now because there for a bit I wasn't finding stuff, but bang, bit of flagging, bit of an earthenware pot tells me I'm on the right direction. Right, guys, welcome along to this dig. My name's Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. We're on an abandoned farm, and we're going to look for its bottle dump. Finding it. Maybe a bit harder than I expected. One good thing I'm seeing here is this is part of a walled garden, but we do have a chimney, which suggests coal, which suggests that any rubbish would have been dumped. So fingers crossed, because that looks possibly like it could be an incinerator in there. We're going to show you. Oh, I need to put a mask on. That could possibly be an incinerator in there for something. But yeah. Definitely, I think we've got a nice abandoned farm here in the woods in the middle of nowhere We do have a well as well, I know that because that's water tanks uh, I think when you get down these stairs here what you're going to see is 
water on the floor. There's more little runs there. That's the best of sheeting, so I'll need to be careful. Yeah, right, we'll just stay away from that. Yeah. You might not be able to see this, but that's actually water down there. So yeah, I'm not going to go in there, but it's in a couple of foot of water. But yeah, chances are that's either just built up from uh, rainwater, because it looks pretty fresh, or it's from a well, which might be from the tank over the back that's leaking. So we'll have a look for the, the tip of the day. Uh, let's go for a wee jaunt in the woods and see if we can find the tip there. Generally they're not too far from the house. Starting to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, possibility of, yeah, that's coal, coal embers. So hopefully we'll find a bottle dump and get some nice bottles there. Take a wee jaunt in. Not seeing too much. Yeah, that's generally classic signs of tipping. See when you start to see that. Metal buckets. I love it. Yeah, we've got it. It's in here. You can see it. It's in there. Let's get this dug. Let's have a wee test dig here. This is looking like a good place to test dig. I'll see if we get any finds. Right, guys, check this out. What do you think this is? A cream pot? <laughs> is it going to be broke? Yes! Haha! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to be whole. Cream pot, Galloway. Can't win them all. Well, guys, that just shows you there's potential in here. Well, there's definitely potential in here. Look at that. That's another cream of Galloway cream pot. Smashed, unfortunately. And this bit here is a sickener because that is a Reeds of Helland for a ginger beer. That's what that would have been, but it's broke, obviously, but shows that they're in here, so that's nice. I've never found one of them whole before. Got close to it on a tip a couple of months back. Beautiful little hawk bottle, and we've got four Perrier Skittle bottles. Unfortunately, they're blank, but they do make nice sets, so I'll maybe take them for the Etsy shop. As again, if anybody wants to buy anything, there's a link in the description below in the comments but yeah there you go look at that some lovely little perrier bottles and a lovely brown hot wine which is later around about the 1930s 40s right guys a little beer's popped out here look at that it's a double x aloe arrows an arrows beer new one on me from aloe if any of you guys know what it is let us know that's a new one on me, new beer. Not seen that one before. I like it when you find new stuff. Check this out, a couple of lovely bottles have came out. Look at this, a big 20 ounce, maybe 25 ounces there. That's a medicine bottle, lovely bra blue color. We have a Monk's Wine, which is lovely, like that. And we have a cathedral style bottle, cathedral archways. I have then just found this bottle stopper that screws into a bottle. So yeah, that's the stopper. So I've got to stick that safe in my pocket and see if I can find the bottle that that came off of. Well guys, check this out. Isn't it lovely? That's another bit of Dalton Brown Glaze. Yeah, these little pieces are about £40 a piece. I found one before, I sold it for less than what it was worth, but uh, yeah, it's another bit of it, Dalton Brown Glaze, it's, I think it's called, beautiful isn't it man, look at the just the pictorial figures on it, it's just absolutely amazing, like eh, something like just as small as that, shame about the handles are missing off it, because again that would be another £40 piece, but I'll stick it in the Etsy shop, somebody might take it as a display, so yeah. Beautiful little piece there. Right, so here's another couple of good finds that have come out. Woodward's Chemist London, which is a lovely screw top chemist. And of course, a Zenobia perfume. Had one of these before from here as well. Shaping up to be a good dig in here tonight. Eh? Zenobia and Woodward's Chemist. Not too bad, I'll take it. We'll keep digging. It's early days in here, so I'm hoping for some really nice finds. Right guys, so it's 6 o'clock in the evening, 
Right guys, so it's 6 o'clock in the evening, I've opened up a hole and I've just started to get stuff but I've got a bit of an old newspaper, check that out. Can you see that? You can see Glasgow on it, bit of a crossword there. Really old crossword that, for keen vacancies. That's just amazing, like hey, it's very rare you'll get bits of newspaper, still readable but hey, that's probably nearly a hundred year old that newspaper eh? <laughs> Unbelievable, I think I'll try and set that aside. Right guys, look at this, hey, 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 check that out, that's an enameled sign. Oh. Stamina foods for dogs. Rough. <laughs> Beautiful little sign, eh? Yeah, Beautiful. Not what I've ever seen before, but hey. Very rarely you come across a sign, so I'll take it. Stamina foods for dogs. Have to look into that and find out what that is. But yeah, most likely dog food, obviously. But yeah, interesting. Lovely little find, that. Pleased with that. Right, guys. So I decided to mudlack upstream to try and find an abandoned farm on this dig. It was a really tough dig. It was a really tough dig to find the farm. Although I did end up finding the farm and then moving on to another tip. Bit of both, it was hard. Let's show you what we found mud lacking. That's come out of a tip on the stream somewhere. Still haven't found this tip, but I'm going to look for it again. But yeah, we've got an old boot carved out of what I think is bone, but some people think it could be wood. That's just absolutely spectacular. I love that. I, I mean, some of the stuff I actually find absolutely amazes me. This is a Royal Dalton, or Dalton as they call it, Dalton Brown Glaze. This would have been a pot, I think, rather than a cup. It could have been a cup with two or three handles. Or part of something that was attached to something, like a sugar bowl, because it looks like it goes in three different directions, maybe like a wee sugar bowl. Just look at the figurines on it, it's just amazing. Pieces like this used to go for, like, 40 odd pound. That's just... Amazing, love it. I was in the woods and the woods didn't produce a lot. I did see signs of broken cream pots, which was good. Got a lot of flat bottom periers. Periers are flat bottomed Hamilton's, but they're just not pictorial. The reason you know they're periers is because they're stamped on the bottom. Source, perrier. Monk's wine, Benedictine wine, absolutely brilliant, lovely bottle. Massive, but it's brilliant. This, I've never. Once I found a 20 ounce Lysol bottle, this is about the second closest I've came to ever finding a medicine poison bottle. Probably contained poison, ammonia or something like that, but yeah, look at that. 20 ounce poison bottle. For it to be whole, just absolutely amazing. A lot of chemist stuff about this tip as well. Woodward's Chemist London, later style bottle, and a Zenobia perfumeries, perfumeries which is nice. Yeah. Hard dig, star sign, and I'm just grabbing it so I don't touch it with the drill there. The star sign for this was this, well, find Stamina Foods for Dogs. Check that out, beautiful sign. It's been in there a bit like, eh? But, one good thing about this sign is the last one went on the railway auctions for £160, which is a wee bit longer than this but similar. So I reckon this sign somewhere in between 100 and 160 pound. It's just how do I clean it up? <laughs> if anybody's any ideas, drop me a little message in the comments below. Again, a hard dig, but again, it's producing nice bits and some nice profitable bits, profitable bits. Some of it's rare, some of it's not. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's bottle digging. You have good digs, you have bad digs. Some people would say to me, and the bottle digging hobby. Nothing really great there, but s subscribers on your YouTube channel will tell you different. They'll tell you, oh, I'd love to find that, or I'd love to find a bit of Dalton, or I'd love to find that big medicine bottle. Everybody each to their own has their own likes of the hobby and what they actually like and what people find. So yeah, each to their own what they like. But yeah, back out again tonight and hopefully we'll get some more finds on a better trip tonight uh, we're going to travel tonight about 30 40 miles so <laughs> yeah we're going a long one 
got a long drive soon, about two and a half hours. In fact, probably be more than that. We're going about a two and a half hour drive tonight, so fingers crossed we get some nice bits. And I'll catch you guys on the next hunt, and hopefully it will be a really good hunt, and we'll have some really good finds to show you.